Hi guys, today we're here with a new video and this video we are going to do a preview about Elemental Shaman. We did a video about Enhancement Shaman, I think I will update it very soon because I think they are going to make a few changes on the PTR. But we also did for Fury Warriors, although also for Arms Warriors. So if you want to check that out, please do check that out at the end of the video, please. Uh, but overall, I'm going to also talk to uh, about Elemental Shaman as a whole, the changes that they made for Elemental Shaman, the things that are they are going to probably go for in 10.2 because we still have three weeks, four weeks, pretty much for beginning of the season. So I do think they're still going to change a few things, but it's mostly numbers, I think. Uh, but in general, it does feel great. That's for sure a spoiler for the video but it does feel great especially for pvp uh, pve they have issues with not bringing any raid utility kind of thing uh, but that's the problem for pve i'm more of a pvp guy so i'm very happy with current iteration of elemental shaman i do feel like they could change a few things where maybe make lava burst more of a thing that is not really spammable but more stronger like for example wrath of the lich king kind of thing but again that's nitpicking. I think currently Elemental Shaman feels very strong. Now I'm going to talk really quickly about the changes on the uh, PTR notes. So those are the few changes we have on Elemental Shaman. First change is Mana Spring now restores 150 mana for Enhancement Shaman, was 250, 150 for Restoration Shaman, and 100 for Elemental Shamans. Personally, I am not using Mana Spring. I guess it's a PvE thing, but if you do if you do use it, it's a nerf. So, uh, Elemental Shaman has multiple redesigns on tier sets, tier pieces. The first two were the first iterations of the four set. This is gone, uh, which is a good thing. I think it was very clumbersome, I would say, to use, and it didn't really work for PvP at all. But for PvE, I think it's also a bit cumbersome. So. You, they they did, did change it to something way better. I'm going to explain it afterwards. Sprint Elements now grants you 20% haste at all times, plus an additional 4% haste per extra target you hit by problem of your wave. Often not in PvP, you will have at least three targets with your Flame Shock. More if they are pets, if you're like thinking about it. Um, but again, you should have between 20%, 28%, like 24% minimum because of one target, but second target is 28% and then 32% for uh, the third target, which is still a huge amount of haste. I still think you're going to use splintered elements. It does make the other option uh, also a possibility, but personally, I think haste is such a great stat, especially for Elemental Shaman. So now I'm playing way more Splintered Elements, and I do love the fact that I'm getting haste for it. Uh, further Beyond is more of a PvE thing, uh, so it can only increase the duration of Further Beyond by up to 150% of the original duration of us Ascendance. So if the duration is one, like 15%, it's going to be only added 15 extra plus also the 50% uh, extra on ascendance. So I guess it's uh, around uh, 7 seconds. So I would say it adds 23 seconds uh, on top of the ascendance you have. So 15 plus 23 seconds. Uh, but again, it's a PvE thing. We're not playing with further beyond in PvP. Unfortunately, I do love ascendance. Unfortunately, I think deeply rooted elements is just such a better talent as a whole. Uh, probably your wave can no longer be used to heal a friendly ally. That's a bit of a shame because you could have uh, kind of um, uh, hide the fact that you did a promote your wave because you have you have weak auras, you have those things. But promote your wave is such a, s a small CD that often not people are overlooking it. But now, I mean, pff, it doesn't matter. But uh, since the four set, the two set actually wants you to cast it on the en enemy. You're, you're basically going to ever, like always, cast this on enemy anyway, so uh, that changed. It's also a change for element for Enhancement Shaman, if I'm not mistaken, but anyways. Amir Darzil, the Dream Soap 4 set, has been redesigned, so that is the current form. Lava Burst burns you, your target for 15% additional damage over 4 seconds. I'm going to explain how big that first portion of the talent is, the, 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 uh, the, spe the tier set is. This is so big like the damage that you get from this is insane i'm going to show you guys on the dummies and after consuming promote your wave your next two costs because this is uh nerfed to two uh also hit up to three additional targets affected by your flame shock for 50 percent of the normal damage in pvp in pve it's 100 still insane 
and it tar it targets three additional targets. So in PvP, if you're doing threes or twos, you are going to always have benefits from the full set. The full set is a must-have for Elemental Shaman. You should rush this. It doesn't matter if the stats are bad on the tier sets. This is just too big uh, to uh, like forego it. Again, we talked a bit too much about the PTR, but I wanted to explain it and show you guys what the PTR notes are written. Now I'm going to show you how big it is uh, and how good it is actually. Uh, again, before we start, I want to show you. I want to show you the uh, full sets, the, the the full set that you get from uh, doing PVE and PvP. So let's see if it's not bugged. It is not bugged. Um, so season three, Amir Brazil. If you are doing PVE, you have some sick looking full sets. I I I think I'm going to do raid finder for this one. I, I really like this silver silver looking uh, full set. I prefer it than the green one, to be honest. This is this is really a cool design. Uh, also, the normal no, normal one, it, it's what I have right now, I think. Uh, I don't really like it. Uh, Halo Week one, blue, it is magnificent. Unfortunately, I'm not going to do PvE, so... Uh, I mean, uh, Raid Finder I will do. Uh, Halo Week, I don't have a guild for that. Unfortunately, if someone wants to... Uh, pick me inside of a guild and boost me. That would be very cool, but I don't think people are going to do that for me. But anyways, mythic. It's red. I don't like red, but so I'm not really chasing for that. Uh, Glad is orange, which also looks cool, and the elite one is also like whitish blue, which is also going to look fantastic, uh, which is a good thing. Uh, I'm going to chase for that for sure. Now. The goodies. I'm playing with this build currently. Yes, you can go for Ice Fury. No, I'm not going for it right now because I feel like I have to sacrifice something to get Ice Fury. Um, <coughs> it does make Frost Shock hurt a bit. And also you have Flux Melting, which is going to improve your Lava Burst damage even more. Or you can go for Electrified Shocks, which will increase your damage of Earth Shock and your Lightning Bolts. Uh, like for, for example your storm keepers if you're going for that but currently i'm playing with this build uh, splintered elements has been changed like i said and the same for wind speakers lava resurgence which is a great talent uh, they didn't change it but it it just is such a great talent uh, there is an option where you're going to play with volcanic surge i'm going to showcase that as well in the video it is insane damage but you're losing a lot of mobility i don't know if it's really worth it they did nerf the lava burst proportion since like the previous patch but the lightning bolt damage is way higher and whatever you're doing a stormkeeper with this it is like out of this world but anyways let's do some great combos um <laughs> i'm going to say that it is insane um overall you know in pvp in general, you want to flame shock every single target. You're going to flame shock every single target. And pretty much you have your fire elemental. I'm going to use it right now. I'm going to also fire fire shock this raider training. And I'm going to do primordial wave. I'm going to put my uh, sky fury totem. And then I'm going to just burst. And I'm just pressing one button, right? Like earth shock and lava burst. I'm just pressing that button. And it does insane damage. I do 200k DPS, by the way. Oh, that was a sick lag. I do 200k DPS, by the way. Without doing Stormkeepers, I could do another Primordial Wave. Boom, boom, boom. And another more damage, and another more damage, and another more damage, and another more damage. I'm only pressing two buttons, Earth Shock, Lava Burst. I could also be using and moving while I'm doing it. This is pretty much the GOAT of casters. I think... If I make a tier list right now for solo shuffle, it will be for sure S tier. Like, this is going to be quite insane. I have my fire, uh, fire elemental back up, and I'm going to do even more damage. I'm going to put my uh, fire shock on a second target, for example. I'm going to just do storm keepers into a earth shock, lightning bolt, primordial wave into lava, sh uh, lava burst. Uh, earth shock lightning bolt, lava burst. And I'm really not casting. I'm just jumping around. That's... That's, I mean, if anything, it doesn't feel like a caster. 
Uh, and I'm going to showcase the damage for portions. Again, in PvP, the damage will be a bit lower because of versatility, because of DRs, whatever, like uh, damage reductions. But overall, the damage is way, way, way high. This is 170k lava burst crits without being full crit. I'm not playing Griff crit, so I'm not cheesing anything. It does a lot of damage in general. Show me the the real damage, please. Thank you. So 50% of the damage is lava burst, which is to be expected. You're pretty much like a lava burst machine. I think people are still going to be mad about it, but it is what it is. Earthshark is doing some heavy crits. Uh, it is really, really high for just an instant cost, which is pretty much for free. And you have Molten Slag, which is the dot proportion of the uh, two, uh, the four set. And you see that it does 58k, and you're thinking, but it is not 15%. It is not 15% of, of Lava Burst. It, it, it can't be, what, 170k? 15% of that is not 50k, right? You're right. The good thing is, I'm going to showcase... Flame shock on the target. You'll have no um, molten slag right now. And what you're going to do is a lava burst. It does 9k. 9k is nothing, right? But if you're keeping on doing it, and you're like pretty much only do one target, it augments like a ignite from back in the day. You know, like whatever your fire mage, you keep on like making your ignite stronger and stronger. It is quite the same. As long as you're doing lava burst, it goes up and up and up. And of course, it does fall down because of like how it works. But pretty much your damage is so high because of it. And like I I didn't press fire elemental, I didn't press storm keepers. And you see molten slag is 12% of my damage. It is insane. I did 100k DPS without doing a lightning bolt, without doing spreading flame shocks without having my fire elemental without actually i think i didn't press my sky fury totem i didn't uh do primal wave and do lava burst on multiple targets 100k dps i didn't do anything ex exceptional everyone can just press two buttons it does insane damage of course we are in 10.2 so damage is going to be naturally higher than in 10.1 but this has so much potential. I think in threes, if you have flame shock on everyone, your pressure is r the same as an affliction warlock, but you don't have the disadvantages of a affliction warlock. Affliction warlock only has shadow spell and also nature with soul rot. But let's be honest, um, pe people are people are not going to kick soul rot in general. But if they do, like they're 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 quite dumb. Don't do that, please. Uh, kick drain life. Kick drain soul. Uh, kick the unstable afflictions, but don't kick soul rot. It's it's better to just dispel it by the way, but anyways um, You have lava burst you have lightning bolt you have frost shock you have all the elements pretty much where Even if you're kicked you still have primordial wave, which is a shadow school So if they kick every single thing you still have your shadow school, so You always have something to press so I I want to preface that it is going to be insane to play Elemental Shaman. It's going to be so strong to play Elemental Shaman. And the damage is out of the roof. And now I'm going to play like a more of a greedy build, which is Volcanic Surge. I think most people are not going to play that because you're very mobile. It works versus casters, let's be honest. The only thing I do feel that is very annoying is um, you don't get any stacks of Lava Burst whenever you're having a Surge. You get actually just like Lightning Bolt, um, like fast to cast pretty much. But you, you will see like that often your Lava Burst is going to be on CD. You, you, you're not really able to have a big dot on the enemy. The dot is going to be high because of the damage that Lava Burst brings by themselves. But it is not going to be like the same as the mobile version without Volcanic Surge. Well, I'm going to show you the version with... Um, how it's called? The version with um, Volcanic Surge, right? Uh, I'm going to flame shock everyone, and then I'm going to put my Sky Fury Totem into a Promoter Wave, and now I'm going to press two times my Lava Burst, boom, 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 and that's a lot of damage, by the way, if you're, like, noticing it, it is insane, I have my <laughs> my Stormkeepers doing 560k, by the way, I mean, <laughs> and I'm keeping on the Onslaught, and 
I have another uh, lava uh, primordial wave coming up, so I'm gonna do that again. And I mean, the damage is going to be insane again. Like I see 360k DPS, by the way. Um, it is really high. It, 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 it's a, if you're like able to cast without being stopped, which is able to be happening in RBGs, you're going to decimate teams like it's it's going to be insane. And I do feel like currently it is my favorite caster on the PTR. Uh, I might be wrong. Uh, again, I didn't test like everything and everyone, uh, especially since the changes and such. But that's why I'm going to make videos about it. But this is like out of this world. Let, let me show you. I did a 200, I would say 80k lava burst. Um, it's casted. It is not spammable. You see, I only have 11 lava burst casts. Um, the damage is insane. Still 50% of my damage. My lightning bolts, I did 13 casts. I did a crit of 570k. And even if you're thinking about versatility, even if you're thinking damage reduction, even if you're going to halve this, it's still going to do insane damage. People have like 800k health, right? If you're doing a lightning bolt and it crits for 250k, regardless, it is going to do like a lot of damage. And you should also remember like your uh, Stormkeepers comes with two lightning bolts, not with only one lightning bolt. And it can be duplicated because of Earthshock uh, with the um, with the uh, surge of power. So the damage is pff, it's too high, man. I, I I'm not going to say nerf it because I think they're going to probably do a lot of like changes here and there. So they might do that anyways. Um, but don't like. I don't want them to nerf and don't compensate on something else. I feel I feel like yes, lava burst hurts for way too much for what it brings, um, but you can just shift that damage onto something else and it would be fine. I think I think a lot of specs actually do a lot of damage anyways. But let's be real: if you have three targets and you do 370k DPS because you are like uh, like untouched, it is like way more damage than an affliction warlock it's it's i don't know if you can actually realize how much damage it is 370k dps on pvp players uh on our inner on, on inner raid with a lot of raid buffs and such it is something that can happen pretty pretty fast but or in mythic plus or whatever but in pvp situation if you're actually doing a 370k dps you're actually killing someone in three seconds because that's how it works 370k dps times three it does way more damage than their health of course it is spread on three targets but even then um, I, you see my my primary target that got 70k 70% 70 uh, of the damage and then you have like 16% and 13% on the two other targets so it is insane and molten slag by the way crit, uh, like hitting because it doesn't crit unfortunately but hitting for 91k I mean you get a dot of 91k by the way like it's it's rivaling feral like damage like feral frenzy kind of damage uh, i mean it's it's really beautiful <laughs> but anyway i'm very very happy about it I, I i wonder how they're going to tune it in pvp i think in pve the thing is you, you still have complaints about not bringing any raid buffs or raid utility or like why would you pick an, an elemental shaman where you can actually pick an enhancement shaman which can bring wind fury totem for example for melees uh so i get it also the off are probably better on the hands than elemental shaman although if i'm off healing myself i mean it's still like big healing it's like 182k if i have if i have the buff which is focus inside i mean it's, it's it's really a lot of healing especially if it crits um, it's it's noticeable. Uh, it's better than some specs. Again, like I did a hybrid video about it and uh, discussed about it. And again, I think uh, they they should they should do something about it. But uh, I mean, it's very hard to tune. So again, I can understand that. But this is really a lot of damage. And again, I'm not saying that. Look, you're not, never going to be targeted. So Volcanic surges is like a must take but if i if you're doing rbgs or solo queue rbgs or you're doing threes with an affliction warlock which often than not they are the target 
you are going to have a lot of situations where you are pretty much free casting, and even if they kick your lava burst, you still have your lightning bolts, and you're 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 going to be very immobile. Let's be honest, but the damage is really really high. Or you can just say, look, volcanic surge out of the way, and you're you're doing damage while moving. I'm going to showcase one more time. One more time, okay? I'm doing my fire elemental here. I'm going to uh, flame shock everything again. The DPS you see, it's it, it's it's lowering, right? I'm going to do a primordial wave into a sky fury totem, and then I, I, I'm pretty much not casting, by the way. I, like it, everything is instant. Everything is instant. I cannot also just do that, boom, and then I can just keep on doing it, keep on doing it. And then I can do another one, bam, bam, bam. And pretty much, like, nobody can stop me. You, you, you can train me. You can train me. You can stun me. You can you can try to slow me. But, the, 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 I mean... Guys, I'm moving, and I do 270k DPS. What other spec can do that? What other specs can actually just jump and do suboptimal DPS rotations? Because I do, I do feel like I can do way better. And do that much damage on three targets. And yes, you can do the same for only one target. Look, I only have one target up. Sky Fury Totem. And then I'm doing I'm do, I'm I'm just I'm just I'm just doing something, right? Uh, it's <laughs> I can I can do a frost shock here and then another flame shock. And then again I have to cast because it's only one target, so we don't get a lot of uh, lava surges, but <sighs> it's it's really cool. So I, I, I wonder how they're going to tune it. I think they they are going to get nerfed somehow, some way. I hope they kind of shift the damage around if they do nerf um, Elemental Shaman. But it is really, really fun. And I really consider it a S tier spec for Solo Shuffle, a S tier spec for Threes. I would say in RBGs, Solo Q RBGs, it is going to be S tier. Uh, I don't know if I did put them in my solo QR RPG TL is S tier, but I do feel like it's very fun. You can push people, you can you can do dam damage, you are very tanky in solo QR RPGs in my opinion compared to arenas. Because in one of your own situations, if you actually be able to do your rotation, you're going to hurt someone. Like it's it's insane. And you have so much utility. Just in general in PvP you have way more utility than PvE. But in PvP you're, you're guys Play Elemental Shaman. Play Elemental Shaman. Again, thank you for watching this video. I really appreciate you. If you want to ask me anything about Elemental Shaman, please do. I know that some people did ask me to do a Tempo 1.7 uh, um, uh, like updated uh, guide. I feel like for just three weeks, it's, it, it has no point because it does get changed. But uh, once 10.2 is live, I'm going to make a guide about it. And I'm going to play the hell out of that spec. Again, thank you for watching. Have a great day. Bye.